When it comes to playing games in virtual reality, there are a ton of options that don't cost a lot, and some even more exquisite choices for those with a chonky wallet. But what if you spent all your hard-earned pennies on the quest itself and you're still looking to have fun? Well, no need to fear as there are still some good free game choices on the quest store. Welcome in folks, I'm ZStorm and today we're going to take a deeper look into the hidden side of the quest store, the App Lab, which is still the normal quest store, just these games haven't gone through all the trials and tests that the official games have on the store. Let's take a look at this list of gems and before you go, oh no, another content creator who doesn't know what he's talking about and just gonna go ahead and repeat the same list that the last 10 content creators did, you're mostly wrong. I actually went through and put a considerable amount of playtime into each and every one of these games to make sure it actually would be fun and fit on this top 10 list. Alright, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and bolt into the video. Coming in at number 10 on my list is Black Hole Pool. I personally love playing pool as I was growing up and maybe it's weird but where I grew up you could just stroll into a bar and pop a couple quarters in and get to playing. In this game you get set into a bar like environment where you can play 8 ball and 9 ball pool or as the fancy folks say, billiards. The game has some really awesome physics to it, the controls are great, it runs super smooth, it looks great, has a big TV where you can play YouTube videos on it and some awesome ambient sounds that make it feel as if you were really playing pool at a bar. The free version includes 8-ball and 9-ball practice against AI and different drills that you could run through to up your skill. There is a paid 8-ball and 9-ball DLC that lets you play online with your Oculus friends or compete in an online ranked system. It's a fantastic way to kill some time and at no extra cost to you, what do you have to lose? Cranking the wheel into 9th place is V Speedway. This is an arcade racing game that I've looked at for a while but never fully hopped into until recently. As someone who really enjoys racing games and driving manual transmission, Pete my 91 Miata, V Speedway instantly piqued my interest when I saw you could manually shift your vehicles in game. Like as silly as that seems, we don't have any other VR game that you're able to do that in yet. At least none that I directly know about. If you do know of one, let me know in the comments below. You have full control over your vehicle being able to place your physical hands on the steering wheel and actually steer the car. You can physically adjust your mirrors and choose to ride in the left side of the car or on the right side of the car like the rest of the world. Why does America insist on being different than everyone else and having to be so difficult? Oh hey look, there's a perfectly good temperature system. Now nah, let's create one of them Fahrenheit. Oh that metric system seems to make sense with full numbers. Nah, let's add fractions, cause America. Hey, everyone else drives their car on the left side, maybe we could save on manufacturing costs by LEFT SIDE CAUSE America. Going around corners, you can physically rip up the e-brake to pull off some awesome arcade drifting action. The game offers a single race, a time attack, and free ride game modes. There is a competitive online leaderboards to see you can set the best time on the different tracks. There are customization options for your car with various colors and more via paid DLC if you want to support the developer. As well as tons of different motion comfort options. Oh, and it offers full B haptic support so you can actually feel the pain of smashing your little nugget into the wall at 150 kilometers an hour. That's 93 miles per hour. The developer is also working on another project that is planned to release sometime in 2022 called Downtown Club. Links for all this in the video will be found down below. Taking the 8th place trophy on this lineup is Touring Carts. This is almost exactly like if Mario Kart mixed with Mod Nation Racers and was built from the ground up with virtual reality in mind. There's 22 tracks to race on and 30 customizable carts. You can race in 3 different views, one that makes it seem as if you are in an arcade machine racer, a third person view, and then a fully immersive first person view. The game has a single player and online cross platform to be able to race against others on PC VR and PlayStation VR. You gather power ups and weapons by reaching your hand up and grabbing the item blocks. For sodas, you can bring them to your face to drink them. Then for things like chickens and bananas, you can actually physically throw them in front of you and behind you. You can also get a hammer and a rocket launcher of which you can aim down the site and fire at your enemy or smash the hammer on the enemy. There are over 500 collectible prizes as well, so that should keep you busy for a while. There is a paid version of touring carts that offers more customization options and other carts to race in. But even without all that, this is still a game that offers an absolute mountain of content for literally nothing. 
Sliding in a seventh place is We Are One. This is a first person shooter puzzle game, and these puzzles are solved by making clones of yourself and time looping. This is something very unique that we haven't seen in any other VR puzzle games, let alone puzzle games in general. There is a variety of levels that you can go through that get increasingly difficult as you complete them, all while using a teleport only locomotion system, which in the case of this game works perfectly. It has that beautiful Borderlands cell shaded art style that can combines the look of watercolor paints and hand-drawn lines. It's a fantastic game to kill some time and at the price of zero you can't really complain. This is currently a demo for the game made by Flathead Studios who plans to release a full paid version of the game near the end of 2022 that is said to include a story mode and a level editor. Digging its way all the way to 6th place is Harvest VR, something I hadn't really thought would make it to a 6th place on one of these lists if I hadn't played it myself. You start out in the countryside next to a tool shed, a little bit of harvestable land, and then some waypoints all over the map that you can see. There are tutorials that run you through how to plant crops, go mining, how to cook, and yes, even how to fish. It was hard to not just instantly rate this game a number 1 after seeing it had fishing, but I had to let my inner MMO gamer not get the best of me. You grow different crops, then you harvest them and turn them into the baskets around the world to get money which can then in turn be used to buy more seeds or new tools. You can also fast travel around the map to different areas that you have already explored, but no need to worry as the map isn't so big that you're going to get lost in it. There is still a lot about this game that I don't know, as I went to the beach and found out that you could climb trees and gather coconuts to sell to get some extra money for crops. It seems that you can also buy and raise animals too, though I don't know to what extent. You can buy new decorations for your house and fully customize the inside. You have the option to play with real life time or faster simulated time. So if you wanted to go for that true real voxel farming experience, this is it. Really this game was hands down impressive, not at all what I was expecting for a completely free farming game. The only thing that could take this game to the next level would be adding multiplayer. But I'm sure that's a lot easier said than done. Regardless, great job y'all. I just want to take a quick second and tell you about today's video sponsor, VR Wave. VR Wave makes prescription lenses for your VR headset that can quickly attach and detach to allow for ease of cleaning and to be able to share the headset with others. If you know someone who refuses to get into VR because of all the struggle to get glasses to fit inside the VR headset or worrying about scratching the lenses, this is the perfect solution. You can even add a blue light filter to your lenses which will reduce the extra strain on your eyes, allowing for you to be able to stay in VR sessions even longer. You can get your lenses custom made to you and it's as simple as sliding on over to vr-wave.store, choosing your VR headset and filling in your prescription in the provided boxes. There must be a little more color in this world than we thought because making it into 5th place is no more rainbows. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect heading into this as I had only seen a little bit of gameplay on it, and oh my what an absolute blast this was for the time that I had played. It seems like Spyro and Gorilla Tag smashed together with rainbows sparkled over the top. What I gathered from the story so far is that some rainbow witch has cursed parts of the underworld with these little rainbow egg people that you must run around and slice into pieces to collect souls so that you can restore the underworld back to its gloom and doom. The game doesn't explain much, but that is the gist I had gathered from it, and it is hilariously fun as you can whack the little rainbow dudes like they are nothing and smash all the objects around the world. One of my favorite parts is when I walked over to one of the little chef dudes and absolutely thwacked the grill out from in front of him. This is just a demo beta version of the game. When the game fully releases, it is going to have a full story mode, leaderboards, and epic boss fights. Absolutely shocking me and scoring its way to 4th place is Battle Talent. Battle Talent is a roguelite physics based combat game. It feels like a fun free version of Blade and Sorcery. All the environments are fully interactive so you can go ahead and stab buttons or climb things with swords and spears. You can use all different sorts of weapons with native mod.io support which does have a Star Wars lightsaber mod created for it. Funny enough, to unlock the mod menu you actually have to jump off the bridge and spawn 7 times and then look at your right hand to turn on cheats. Though I don't have a lot of playtime in this particular game, I do see it as something for those who want to get into Blade and Sorcery but just can't afford it yet. 
an app lab classic that many hold dear and that I hadn't played until the other day. Swinging into third place is Ancient Dungeon. Ancient Dungeon is another roguelite dungeon crawler with a pretty cool story behind everything you are doing. You push into the dungeon that is sought to contain all sorts of legendary items, riches, and powers. Only problem is, when you head in forward, there is no way back. You have to push all the way through the dungeon somehow. You have a dagger that you can throw and call back to you, as well as a blade that can be swung at enemies and changes abilities based on the different drops that you acquire along the way. There are cool physics to items lying around the dungeon and ragdoll-like physics on the enemies when you kill them. There are also merchants along the way where you can buy various upgrades to increase your health, money, damage, and so many other things that I haven't even discovered yet. Make sure you also don't swing your sword at the merchant or uh, you're probably gonna die. You can smash pots, break crates, find keys to open chests, fight dungeon bosses at the end of every floor, and much more that I'm sure you should discover for yourself. This is a mostly complete game, but there is a $20 paid version of the game which, according to reviews, includes a ton of additional content from what this version offers. Though I can't imagine what the full version has to offer as I barely scratched a portion of the content in this free version of the game. You already knew this had to be up there, it's time to monkey around to second place in some good old Gorilla Tag. An unrivaled, controller smashing, anxiety inducing mess of social interactions. Gorilla Tag has a ton of people playing all the time, the graphics are terrible, it has open mic chat, and it runs buttery smooth. Gorilla Tag has become or will become a VR classic staple in the free to play sector. It has such a unique way of locomotion movement that we hadn't really seen work like this before. Grab a group of folks and create a lobby and just hang out and race up trees or around different maps to see who can survive the longest without getting tagged. It's also awesome to just hop into and hang out with people. Shooting its way into first place on this list is the ever so impressive Pavlov Shack. Pavlov Shack offers a light version of the full-fledged PC VR Pavlov for the Quest 2, but don't let that steer you away because a lot of the things that make the PC version special, like the side custom games of Trouble in Terrorist Town, Prop Hunt, and Call of Duty Zombies, can all be played on the Quest. Granted, they are scaled down, less graphically intense versions, but the fun is still there regardless. You can play other game modes like Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch, and Search and Destroy. It's basically CSGO in VR mixed with Gary's Mod game modes that can also be played. All in all, I had an absolute blast in Pavlov Shack, and it's the one that I found myself coming back to the most out of all the games. What did you think of my list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Maybe you think these list videos are absolutely stupid and if that's the case, I'm not sure why you made it to the end of this video. Regardless, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see other awesome VR gaming videos like Awaken Toast to Myself, Slaughtering Zombies, and Call of Duty's Kino Der Toten, look at, look at the center. <laughs> What? Come on, go, go, machine. What do we got? Get your booty in here, brother. Go, 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 go. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and as always, never give up. Peace out. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart. I don't die, I'm a fight. I go down, then I strike. I go hard day and night. Yeah.